Greetings my lovelies, hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another You Made What? Today I have Figgy Duff, which is a recipe that was sent to me by dear friends Curtis and Elaine all the way up in Newfoundland up in Canada. If you missed that video, I shall put the link down below. They include a little pudding bag to make this recipe. So let's go into the kitchen and I'll show you how I did it. In a large bowl, we're gonna sift together two cups of flour, a half cup of sugar, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Next, add one cup of raisins and then toss them well in the flour mixture. Add three quarters of a cup of milk and one third of a cup of melted butter. And finally, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then stir everything until it's well combined. I'll smell it. Mm -hmm. It smell like? Figgy duck. Mm -hmm. Then scoop the mixture into a dampened pudding bag and then tie it off with some cotton twine, leaving about an inch of space for the pudding to expand. In a large pot of simmering water, place your figgy duff and cook for an hour and a half. After an hour and a half, remove your pudding and allow it to cool a little bit before taking it out of the bag. So here's the figgy duff, and it looks pretty amazing. Let's give it a cut and taste. So let's, and it looks beautiful, chocked full of raisins, and it smells great, buttery and vanilla. I'm gonna have it with a little bit of butter because it just seems like it should. Because <laughs> butter never hurt anybody. All right, let's have a little, let's have a little smear of butter on there. All right, itadakimasu. Mmm, and that's lovely. It's similar to an Irish soda bread, but it's a little bit sweeter and a little bit more moist. And kind of similar to like a scone, but a little bit moister. Lots of butter, and of course the leavening is baking powder, but it's delicious. Lightly sweetened, lots of chewy raisins. It's similar to a bread, but it's a little bit more moist. I believe they call these seamed puddings or puddings out in the UK. They're not very common here in the States. And similar to, I think, a spotted dick, if you haven't seen me eat spotted dick, I shall put that link down below. It comes in a tin, but similar kind of thing. And here in New England, we have something called brown bread, which is cooked in a can. I think that's kind of a similar idea of a steamed bread or pudding, but it's delicious. Mm. I found the technique of boiling it kind of alarming because I've never boiled a bread before or a pudding, but it turned out great. Well, besides sticking to the bag a lot, I don't know if that can be avoided. Newfoundland friends, do let me know in the comments below if I... Yeah, if there's any way to prevent your pudding from sticking to the bag, I'd love to know. <laughs> but it's a delicious and very, very simple kind of dessert to make. But yeah, there you are, Figgy Duff. So thanks again, Elaine and Curtis, for introducing me to Figgy Duff. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've had this before, if you've had steamed puddings, and if so, what are your favorites? Are there any recipes that I should look up or try? I always want to know. All right, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. It is a special protein that alters the taste receptors in your tongue, so things taste different. Sour things taste sweet. I'm a little babushka.